What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We are 66 days out, so I can't believe time is flying this fast, but uh, 66 days out, just over two months away guys. So uh, super excited, it's about uh, 9.5 weeks out now. So it is Wednesday, uh, I'm gonna be hitting a leg day later today, but I wanted to show you guys something first before we hop into today's video. So I've been working on the gym for so long now, literally since like April of 2020. It is now September 2021 and I'm still like I mentioned in the video where I bought the equipment I'm always trying to make this gym better like no matter what I can do uh, in terms of like motivation artwork um, I have a bunch of artwork coming as well that'll be coming like more uh, t towards the beginning of October like some really cool pieces um, but one thing I've had a vision about for a very long time is like a bionic team bionic athlete wall like Hall of Fame so um, right now I have all of these uh, frames right now that I bought from the dollar store So they're just like nice and simple black frames But what I do what I have is and what I want to do is I have Pictures of all the athletes that have ever competed for team bionic and we've actually had a decent amount of medals won so Anybody that's competed in bodybuilding for myself and team bionic and represented us um, they're gonna be going up on the on the Team Bionic Hall of Fame and uh, their picture is already printed I went to Walmart. That's what I did earlier today as well um, I printed the picture so I'm gonna show you guys um, Like the process of me hanging up the new artwork what it's gonna look like where I'm gonna put it in the gym All right, guys. So I decided I wanted to do like a little bit of a like behind the scenes like backstory to every picture, just to kind of give my clients some rec some recognition and to give you guys some context of uh, every single picture. So this was here, the first picture ever uh, with the bionic athlete that won medals. This is Dale Sucra. Uh, one of my top men's physique athletes so um as you can tell we're actually in a supplement store so that's when i worked for boss supplements uh dale's show was in sudbury and i couldn't make it out to the show so i actually coached him via facetime so literally i carved him up um friday and saturday uh, literally on the phone so i was at, on at work i was actually working a shift on the saturday so i was at work facetiming dale telling him okay eat this many rice cakes do this do that eat this so um, that was a really kind of shitty experience, but at the same time really cool because then he promised me, he's like, dude, we're gonna do it. Like I finished in the center box and that was when, before COVID when there was pre-judging and then finals. So then uh, Dale took home the dub there. He won his uh, original class and then he won the uh, novice class as well. So we're gonna pop Dale into the Hall of Fame right here. All right, guys, there's pick number one, all right? Pick number two is um, also Dale at a different show. So this is when um, we went to the pro qualifier. So basically this picture here qualified Dale for this show. So this is the f uh, second ever um, national naturals so basically sorry i'm just gonna put my computer to sleep because i don't want the background um so this is natural national so this is uh they were awarding ifbb pro cards for uh, pro cards for this show uh dale ended up coming in second place in his class super super close placing i checked the scorecards after the guy that won the show um wasn't in our class but the guy that won our class was very competitive in the overall so that was huge for us. Uh, that's when we knew that Dale was amongst the top in this country for men's physique. Uh, literally uh, a class with like 15 guys in it and he came second or there might've been even more uh, people in his class. But um, that's when we knew that uh, Dale was uh, definitely special and uh, that he could pretty much do anything he wants in this sport. So um, whenever Dale decides to come back to bodybuild, um, he is going to be doing some really special things. Um, I, he definitely hasn't given up on the dream. He definitely wants to be an IFBB pro. And um, I've told him multiple times that I want to help him get there. I want to be 
that young coach, young athlete guys, like Dale's only like 26, 27 years old. So there's the picture of me and Dale, um, natural pro qualifier. What a show, what a time to be alive. So the next picture is my boy, Mark. Uh, my boy, Mark competed in uh, classic physique as, as well as men's physique. So this is the picture of Mark and I um, backstage. This show was in Toronto as well as uh, Dale's pro qualifier. So this show was actually two weeks after Dale's show. Um, and uh, Mark did a really good job. He uh, comes from a dancing background, so his posing was absolutely amazing, super sharp. I loved watching him perform. It was like so awesome. And you know me, guys, like I'm in the stands, I'm screaming for my athletes, screaming their number and stuff. And as you can see, he's got two bronze medals there uh, coming in third place in his classic physique class and third place in his men's physique class. So uh, here goes Mark up on the Hall of Fame. Final picture of Mark, there you go. That's awesome. Oh guys, this is emotional for me because like when I go through these preps with these clients, it's months and months of them grinding and struggling and doing cardio and you know, like not always getting the food they want in the sense that like I'm obviously not telling them to eat burgers all the time and stuff like that. So they're eating very strictly and stuff like that. So, you know, it's a, it's a long process and it really connects the coach with the client. So that's why when I experienced those bad things with my coach, I only wanted the best for my clients. I literally, I want them to feel so special. That's why I'm creating this uh, Team Bionic Hall of Fame so that uh, the athletes that we have going into this King Kong show will, uh, you know, be motivated to, uh, you know, do, do well, uh, scoop some hardware, be at their best, uh, and just, you know, achieve their best self. That's really all bodybuilding is about. I've been mentioning it a lot. Um, so the next show is, and this is all in periodical order, guys. So that's why Dale is here again. So funny story, I went to uh, Mexico with Rachel. This picture here with Dale is in Montreal, Quebec. So that's where the Ben Weeder Naturals were. This was 2019. And uh, basically what happened was while I was in Mexico, uh, Dale was supposed to be resting from his show from the pro qualifier. And this guy messaged me coach i see that they're giving another shot at a pro card whatever and you guys have got to look at dale's physique in this shot like he is absolutely peeled like you can't get any more shredded than this like this is the pinnacle right here so for this show here i came back from mexico um i wasn't even supposed to be using my phone this guy we actually had a phone call uh and i was like all right bro let's do it uh, i sent him a diet while i was in mexico and uh, when I came back, we were like a couple weeks out and uh, he literally wanted to just go straight to Montreal. So uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of my family's from Montreal. I ended up staying with my cousin. Dale stayed in the house with us, with his wife. And uh, we went and we took second again because the same dude was there. So that was kind of shitty, but he literally came in at, at the best he possibly could. There's no better. And he's been taking time off trying to gain size. So. We'll see, man. When Dale takes a crack at this again, like he's gonna be a problem. I can tell you that right now. So, Dale's Ben Weeder is going up there for sure. That's a no brainer. So, Dale, buddy, if you're watching this, bro, you're up on the wall three separate times. You are an absolute savage. Regional and two national shows. This guy was crushing everyone. So, there's the picture of me and Dale in the frame, as you can see. Okay, two more guys, a couple young bucks here. So next we have Ryan Shin, the Korean monster. Um, I don't know what I can say about Ryan. Like he is one of the most determined kids I've ever met in my life. He is uh, in his, uh, what is it? Second or third year university, I think third year university. And um, he's like an absolute monster guys. When I met this kid, he was, uh, he sent me pictures of what he looked like already. And I was like, dude, like you're already ready for a show. So uh, I can't take too much credit with Ryan's physique other than the fact that we peeled him and we got him to like absolute peak conditioning. Um, also developed his, uh, his muscle bellies and stuff like that just to fit men's physique. And uh, he's absolutely in love with it. He has told me before he wants to go professional as well. Um, and as you can see, there's two medals uh, around Ryan's neck. 
uh, one for first place uh, in his junior class and the other one for second place in his men's class. So uh, Ryan has a like, huge future, bright future ahead of him. And uh, I can't wait to do an- the next show with Ryan. I'm trying to co- I was trying to convince him to go to na- uh, nationals this year because he can be Mr. Junior Physique for all of Canada if he wanted to. So uh, I told him like, hey, listen, if you want the title, whatever, but he is so uh, motivated and determined. He literally just wants to, he, know- he knows he has to grow. And uh, the funny thing guys is like, uh, when I was 19, 18, 19 years old and I was competing, and then I uh, I lost in my men's class. I kind of realized like, okay, I need to put on some size as well. And I think that's where Ryan is right now. Like he knows like, yes, he could go win the junior Mr. Physique for all of Canada, be national champ for its age group, which is uh, 19 to 23 years old. So he was still beating guys that were older than him. Um, but uh, he wants to take it seriously and uh, have a really heavy uh, year or two off season and then uh, come back stronger than ever. So. There's the pick of me and Ryan in the frame. Last, but definitely not least, one of hands down. This guy didn't even get a medal, but he's going on the Team Bionic Hall of Fame because he is legitimately a living legend. Um, None other than Joe Maloof, the boy. Um, So this is me and Joe in his show in Burlington. Um, and uh, as you can t- see, he is absolutely dice. He's got a six pack. And Joe is um, the client that I had that went from 300 pounds to 170 pounds. So it was a very long journey with Joe. Uh, first, we started just his weight loss journey. Um, he went from 305 pounds to just under 200 pounds. Um, he ended up taking some time off of Team Bionic, going and doing his own thing, um, put barely any weight on. I think he came back at like 210, maybe 205. So maybe he put on five or 10 pounds, um, but which is really good for somebody that just came off of that much weight loss. But uh, as he was like hitting all these PRs in the gym, like just becoming a savage, he messaged me and he's like, dude, I want to compete. And I was like, no way, bro. So. Um, Joe wanted to compete and I was like, okay, let's do it, buddy. No problem. Like, like right away, let's, let's uh, hop into a prep. So when he told me he wanted to compete, I've never been so excited in my life. Um, tried to teach Joe everything there is about bodybuilding, men's physique in the time that we had and whatever. And he's also told me that he's not done either. So I know Joe's going to come back hungrier than ever and he's going to want to uh, definitely get a medal. But uh, for Joe's transformation mentally, physically, uh, who he's become through his weight loss journey, like I'm so proud of this kid, guys. Like you have no idea. So uh, Joe, buddy, this one is uh, definitely one of my favorite picks, probably my favorite picture uh, going up on the wall. So one last look at it, guys. We're gonna toss it in the frame. And that is it. The um, ending of this video will pretty much be just me showing you guys what the wall looks like. Um, But uh, I can't thank these guys enough uh, to, uh, to just choose Team Bionic to be the person that, like me, to choose me to be the person that gets them on stage. Like, never mind, like for them to represent me, like I'm excited, I'm so honored that these young people, these young men have chosen me uh, to guide them in their journey in bodybuilding. And uh, I, I can't thank them enough. And uh, next up on the list is going to be having our first ever women competitors ever. So uh, my girlfriend, Rachel, and uh, her best friend Michelle, like you guys have seen uh, on the leg day video. Uh, These two girls are gonna be the first ever Team Bionic women competitors. So excited for them. Uh, I know they're gonna absolutely kill it. So guys, uh, it's not just gonna be uh, men up there. We will uh, soon have two women up on the Team Bionic Hall of Fame wall. Um, But yeah, guys, this is the final pick of Joe and I in the frame. Thank you so much for watching. There's a little bit of a background about Team Bionic in terms of our competition uh, history and background. So contest prep has been like one of my focal points of my business. Uh, It's something that like pretty much is one of the main things I want to do is prepare bodybuilders for shows, uh, men's physique, all kinds of uh, all the categories within bodybuilding shows is uh, uh, something that I'm passionate about uh, a lot. So um, tr- uh, coaching uh, everyday lifestyle clients is awesome. I love helping people and um, seeing their progression and stuff like that. But the seriousness that uh, bodybuilding brings, I think, is something that is just a bit more of uh, my niche. 
So uh, if you guys are ever interested in competing, uh, make sure I keep tagging the website down below. Make sure to check out the coaching options and uh, see like if competing is something maybe you, you would like to try or venture off into or maybe just cross off your bucket list. Uh, competing is something that I think changes people's lives forever, it changes you mentally, physically, uh, emotionally, spiritually. It's, it's really something deep and uh, a really good experience. So um, I'll take you guys now into the gym to show you the Hall of Fame. Let's go. All right, guys, so the athlete wall is all done now. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. To be honest with you, as this gym has been put together, I'm like, honestly, like, just so like, grateful of the people that have supported me, like all the cool stuff that I've been able to build and accomplish with Team Bionic, like I can't say enough. So without further ado, guys, here is the Team Bionic Hall of Fame wall. So this is what the wall looks like from afar. And as you can see, all the picks are up all the athletes, anybody that's ever competed with Team Bionic is up there on that wall. So yeah, guys, Team Bionic Hall of Fame, let's go. Just wanted to say thank you all so much for the small amount, even though like I'm not getting three, 400 views on these daily vlogs, guys. I appreciate everybody that's like staying consistent and watching it, the 30 to 50 people that are watching my videos, man. Like I appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe, like this video. It really helps me out, guys, when you like the video. So if you can do that, I really appreciate it. Turn the bell on for the post notifications so when I'm posting, it comes up on your phone. And yeah, guys, thank you so much again for the support. Appreciate you. See you in tomorrow's video. Peace.